Um, so my name is Sam Keaton. I'm think like I've been here a few times so uh, with our youth group and it's really been a blessing. Pastor Todd's done a lot with the youth group and just to see a lot of the other teenagers that have grown and yeah, you know, I've grown in that and I also want to thank Justin. I mean a lot of preachers that you me, not just like um like, uh, like, Justin, I want to thank him for letting me have this time to come up here. Like, a lot of people wouldn't do that, but I, I want to thank him for that, because well, a lot of people just wouldn't do that, but thank you for letting me have this time. And, uh, but first off, I want to start us off in prayer, if you would. Please bow your hands and you can pray. Lord, um, I thank you for this time that we get to gather around your word and hear what you would have to say, Lord. But I pray that wouldn't be my words, Lord. That it would be your words through me, Lord, that uh, you would, that would just be the messenger, Lord, that I wouldn't impose my ideas or use this time to uh, in, to just talk about my ideas, Lord, but that I would be able to tell people about your word, Lord, and what your word has to say, Lord. I thank you for this time to, that uh, I get to come up here, Lord. But, Lord, I pray that it wouldn't be about me or about... Uh, a nice show that we put on, Lord, or that people would just be comforted, Lord. I, I just pray that there would be conviction, Lord. I pray that, the, uh, Lord, uh, I heard some, some people say that statistics are a show that it doesn't look good for the Christian, Lord, but, the, I, like, Lord, the only way to change the future is to stir the present, Lord. So I pray that you would stir people's hearts and minds today and now, Lord. I pray this all in your name. Amen. Amen. Uh, so, um, our, past, our first passage, I got uh, three passages that I'm going to be preaching out of. and uh, But the first one is going to be in Matthew chapter 7. Uh, you can turn, if you have a Bible, you can turn there. But, uh, Justin and as we, oh, like, my, this message is going to be about prayer. Now, a lot of times when we hear about prayer, um, like a lot of times we hear messages about prayer, a lot of times it's like, okay, you should, be. like a lot of times you hear a lot of the same old things, like a uh, prayer is literally you talking with God, or uh, you should always, uh, wh whatever it is, like you should always have your prayer list, you, like, there's almost like a, a uh, um, not, uh, like, almost like a, uh, the word kind of escapes me, but uh, basically we already have like a preconceived idea of what prayer is. But and prayer is all the prayer is literally talking to God. But I think that it's much deeper than what we think. Like the, uh, there's a certain song that comes to mind that uh, helped me. Like the first time I heard it was when my grandma was going through cancer, and I was gone at camp, and I heard the news that. She was like she was get she was having a rough time with it and there there's just some bad news. I won't go into all the details, but um, there was a song that I heard at camp. It was it was uh, Indian Creek Baptist or Indian Creek Baptist camp, and the song was "I Can Pray." That's the name of the song. But basically, it goes, um, no, um, it says you may uh, so. You may say I'm not able, I'm too young, or I'm too old, and I can't sing or teach. And no title do I hold. Basically, a like a title maybe pastor or deacon. No title do I hold. Basically, I'm just me. I'm a nobody. I like me. I'm, but it's pretty self-explanatory. But then, and no title do I hold. Nor can I. Nor can I do. And to help bring my friends back to you. When my friends are lost and dying, and my words cannot get through, and then it goes off into the chorus and it says, basically, all that nothing, I can't do anything. But then the chorus goes, I can pray until the walls come down, until there's healing all around. I can pray, and then like the chorus also continues. But here and and then like that is one thing that no matter what it like. A lot of times, even I will look at my circumstances and I'll think, okay, this is out of my control. But 
or like we always neglect to do the one thing, no matter what, we always have the most powerful weapon, the most powerful element in the world, and that's God, and we can access that element through prayer. Now, uh, so our, we're going to be reading our passages, Matthew chapter 7, starting in verse 7 through uh, 11. And this is a very familiar passage, so some people who've, uh, if you've grown up in church, you no doubt you've heard this uh, probably a considerable amount of times. And this word it says, Ask, and it shall be given to you, or given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto, opened unto you. For everyone that asketh, receiveth, and he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Or what man is there of you, whom if he, if his son shall ask bread, will he give him a stone? Or, or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, uh, being evil, know how to give good gifts to, to your children, how much more will your with your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him. Basically, this uh, explains that God will give, basically, if you like, it doesn't say it directly that you will receive a good gift, but that's kind of like, okay, if I ask for a good thing, like if I ask for a Camaro, that's not saying, all right, God will give me a Camaro, but basically, Essentially, he's saying that he will supply your needs. I mean, those are very like it says that his uh, so what or what man is there of whom, whom if his son asks bread, will he give him a stone? Uh, bread is something that you eat, it's something that your body, food is something that your body needs. That's a necessity of life, is that you need food to eat and to live. And then, uh, or second passage, you don't have to turn there if you uh, like it, or uh, like if you don't if you don't want to because we're gonna be in like I said we're gonna be in three places so you don't have to turn there if you don't want to. It's uh, Luke chapter eleven verse eight. I say unto you, though he will not rise and give him, give him because he is because he is or he is his friend. Yet because of his importance, he, he will rise and give him as many as he, as he needeth. And I say unto you, Ask, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one of you that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh, the door shall be opened. If a son shall ask bread of any of you, that his father will he give him a stone? Or if he what? If he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? Uh, or a scorpion? If ye then being evil, know how to give good gifts of your children, how much more will your heavenly father give holy? To the Holy Spirit to them that ask him. I mean, it's a clear that it's a, um, I mean, uh, like a, um, like I don't, okay, so basically, um, this has a closing thought. Uh, this is something um, uh, I thought of the, I don't know, just kind of like, like I kind of thought that this was would be basically like the point of my message, but uh, I'm just going to read it off. Prayer is you talking to God. We know that. Uh, and should not be taken lightly, put on hold, or brushed past. Uh, most people, uh, most people, when they pray, they just, like, maybe, whether it's praying for a meal or praying for families, okay, it, no, like, it's you know, like maybe you put your hands together, but you close your eyes, by your head, and we we just say it's got off a few words, and we're like, okay, we're done. But um, that, I mean, most people that's just the way they do it. They they just say a few words. But prayer isn't 
ju it just saying words. I mean, if you're wanting to, if I'm wanting to talk to Brother Ernie, I'm not just going to say a few words. Yeah, I'm going to walk up to him, and I'm going to, maybe if he's talking to someone else, I mean, maybe I'll wait until he's done with someone else, then I'll talk to him. But if, like, God, he, he's, in his infinite power a lot enables him to be able to listen to multiple people. So it, that is one of the great things about God, is that even though, like, I mean, I don't have to wait for someone else to get done praying before I can pray. The thing is, we should all be praying. I mean, the, that is something that uh, everyone should be, like, whether you're working in the ministry or not, whether you're going out uh, telling people about the Lord, or whether you're, whatever your position is, whether you're preaching behind the pulpit, whether you're singing up on stage, whether whatever you're doing, you should always be praying. Pray because uh, that, and like that's accessing the power of God. One of the things that I learned working, I worked at a summer camp this year, and one of the things I learned is we put our blood, sweat, and tears into scrubbing every inch of the place. We we did everything we could to make the like facilitate these kids that were coming in, but we couldn't do it. Like, while it sounds like that was all that, I mean, it, essentially, like people would ask us, like, what do you do as work staff? We're like, well, we would we would list all the things that we did, but we that wasn't everything that we did. Like, the every one thing that we did had we didn't. Like whether they did it all, some of the worst staff did it all the time or not. One thing that had to be done every day was prayer. That was one thing. The one thing that was accessing God's power. We had to, when we had to have that to accomplish our tasks. And like uh, I know, um, like one of the things that uh, I think a lot of people lack is while. We do need laborers to help reach the lost, but we also need people to go to be to. It's like the support. Um, like we can it, us going out soul winning without the Holy Spirit's power is like trying to. If a, if a soldier was in a fight, he's trying to fire his gun without any bullets. I mean, that's essentially what it would be like. It'd be as silly as that. I mean, a soldier going out there with any, without any bullets, well, he's, some bad things can happen to him. He can't get hurt. And he's not doing, he's not going to accomplish anything. And I, like, hopefully this message has spoken to you in some way. But I know Brother Ernie, and if you just ask him about some way that you can pray for the church, or, uh, like, anything in that aspect. Like, I mean, if you just ask him, I know he will, uh, like, I know him, he will be glad to let, fill you in and let you know on things that you can pray about. Like, uh, like you can pray that uh, there are, uh, for more people to go out and tell people about the Lord. There's been a faithful few, and sometimes we reached our, I think we reached the goal of 10 people. To go out, but that was like the most I can remember that we've had. And I think we got like nine another day, but just pray that we find more people to go out and go door to door and go soul winning. And um, like there's a number of other, I don't know everything that goes on in our church, but I know that um, uh, it needs a lot of prayer. And I just pray that this message was spoken to you. Lord, I thank you for this opportunity to come up here and speak, Lord. I pray that people would learn, Lord. I, Lord, I know sometimes I'm just me, Lord. I'm just the messenger, Lord. I pray that you would, uh, Lord, that uh, somebody would change their mind about prayer, Lord. Maybe, Lord. Maybe not in that, Lord. Maybe just that they would be encouraged about prayer, Lord. 
I just pray that some that these people here, Lord, uh, not just them, Lord, but that uh, me and everybody here that's a part of this church, Lord, that they would that they would uh, either change their minds about prayer, Lord, or that they be encouraged about prayer, Lord. But I pray that we would all keep praying, Lord, that Lord that uh, you would keep working with us, Lord, and working on us, Lord. That we'd be able to reach out and do your work, Lord. I pray this, Lord, in your name. Amen. Amen.